Today on The Daily Dose, Ruby Bridges. Born during the early years of the Civil Rights Movement, just three months and 21 days after the Supreme Court's 1954 decision, Brown v. Board of Education, at the age of five, Ruby Bridges attended a segregated kindergarten until significant federal pressure forced the Orleans Parish School District to admit black children into all-white segregated schools. In early 1960, Bridges was one of six black children in New Orleans who passed a test to determine whether they could attend the all-white William Franz Elementary School, a test primarily designed to slow and impede desegregation efforts. Two stayed at their old school, three transferred to another all-white school, while Ruby Bridges alone attended William Franz Elementary. On November 14, 1960, six-year-old Ruby and her mother Lucille approached Franz Elementary despite a throng of angry white protesters who threw objects and shouted angry racist epitaphs. Escorted into school by four federal marshals, years later, Charles Burks, one of the marshals in attendance, recalled that Ruby showed a lot of courage she never cried, she didn't whimper, she just marched along like a little soldier, and we're all so very proud of her. White parents quickly began pulling their children out of classrooms, obliging Barbara Henry, a teacher from Boston, Massachusetts, to teach Bridges for an entire year on a one-on-one -on -one basis. A day later, Methodist minister Lloyd Anderson Foreman was the first white parent to escort his five-year-old daughter past the angry mob until one by one, white students returned to France Elementary to resume their studies. During the early days of desegregation in New Orleans schools, as Bridges walked to school each morning, one white woman repeatedly threatened to poison her, while another held up a black baby doll in a coffin until even the worst racist haters began to accept the inevitability of the federal government's desegregation mandates. Today, Ruby Bridges has published four books on her youthful story and the ongoing need for racial tolerance and acceptance, at the same time receiving many honorable degrees and awards along the way. Now chair of the Ruby Bridges Foundation, the group's mission is to promote the values of tolerance, respect, and appreciation of all differences. Racism is a grown-up disease, Bridges maintains, and we must stop using our children to spread it, making Ruby Bridges one of the leading voices in America's slow embrace of racial equality. And there you have it, Ruby Bridges, today on The Daily Dose. Get your nerd on with The Daily Dose, and if you enjoyed today's episode, share the link with a friend or colleague so that they too can learn something new every day.